Hi, I'm Steve, and this is yet another special episode of Our Road to Camelot. I'm standing here in the kitchen next to our Dometic range for a reason, and you're going to find out why right after this. So we had a problem a while back. Dawn is a very aggressive cleaner and after cleaning the stovetop and it needs cleaning it again right now I probably should have cleaned it before this but I got to take it apart anyway she uh, we're not quite sure what happened but the spark would not light so I did a little bit of research and there's a couple of things that could have gone wrong when she cleaned so we're gonna get into that and figure out how to fix a stovetop that is no longer lighting by the sparker so the first thing we want to do is if we go ahead and turn the gas on and nothing lights, we'll try the back one. Okay, and then the far left. And if you notice nothing is turning on. We do know that it will light. First of all, I do smell a little bit of propane gas. But if I go ahead and use this, it lights right up. So I know for a fact that it is not a gas issue. It is uh, beyond a gas issue. And all three do light. So the problem we're dealing with is not gas. So that's pretty obvious. So there's something going wrong with the spark. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything apart to get down to where all those mechanisms are. First of all, the grill, make sure it has cooled down. Yes, it has. That just pulls straight up and it's got these little rubber grommets in them. Make sure that you do not lose the grommets. And to take the top metal part off, there's actually little pins inside so you want to push all the way back and then lift up and then that comes right out so as we look in here we've got these wires that come from the spark unit we've got the spark unit right there and i'm going to go ahead and give you the part number in fact you could probably see it right there uh that unit basically is all there is to send a spark out You've got wires that plug in here. The wire then continues on and plugs up into the spark unit in the stove itself. So if it was a gas issue, I might consider running a pipe cleaner in this area. But to be honest, if it is a gas issue, get a professional to take care of it. I really, really would not want to take responsibility of messing with gas lines. But the spark situation is, is pretty simple. Now, these wires just pop right in. I could probably pull this right out. Left-handed, got to do this the right way. And that has just that kind of a connection on it. And if you look closely down here, it's got the other end. So first of all, make sure those are all in and securely fastened. So first I'm gonna to check to make sure all those are in. And I can tell this one is really loose, so I'm gonna get that pushed in a little bit tighter. Then on this end, this side is actually like a round piece. It's just plugged straight into that, so I wanna make sure those are all tightened. Those actually felt a little loose to be honest, so I went ahead and tightened those in. Now, these wires can become old and cracked, and that would cause a short. So if it's still not working, you may want to pull the wire out completely, inspect it, and very possibly just replace that with a replacement wire. Let's test this out again. Okay, so that, that one fires up. That fires up. There we go. <laughs> that took a second. They all fired up. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together. And uh, I took a moment to clean the, the stove top. Don will be shocked when she sees this video. Anyways, there are two flaps here. They're kind of spring loaded. So I'm going to make sure that these pieces right here fit into those. And now there are flaps down here and here. So I basically push forward. And lock those down and now it's locked in. I put the rubber grommets back in 
and now the grill just slips into those little rubber grommets and we're all done now we're going to look to see where we can get those parts in case we had to order the parts so i'm basically google searching dometic stove parts so here is piezo igniter and that's only 20 bucks so here's the part right here for the lighter and curious if they have the replacement wires let's see so i typed in dometic stove spark wires lift charge three piece igniter wires so that actually is the one we're looking for so those actually are 21.99 in case you have to replace those so that's going to be it for this episode. I know it's a pretty short one, but it's a very important one. We had a long time before we got our stove working properly again and uh, basically just went in and showed what happened and how I fixed it. So that's going to be it. Make sure you hit that subscription button. Also, for good measure, give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. let you know every time we post Sundays at 2 p.m. Also, we are on Facebook and Instagram and also www.rodcamelot.com. So, yes, uh, in a perfect universe, this will all get caught up before we hit the road again. But until then, safe travels and we will see you on the road.